us Italians, we have a million ways to make pasta with beans. Uh, up north, they call it pasta fagioli. Down south, pasta fazul. It's fantastic. It's a meal in which in a single pasta bowl, you have everything that you would want. Your beans, your meat, sausage in this case, and of course, pasta. It's delicious, especially on a cold winter night. Let me show you how to make it. In the pot, what we have is some olive oil that's getting nice and warm. While the olive oil is getting nice and warm, what I like to do is add a pinch of red pepper flakes. And as you can see, it's a little bit more than a pinch. Why? Because this is for me. If I was to cook for my wife, I could never do this. You heard that before. The next thing that I want to do is to add what I refer to as uh, the essence of Sicily, garlic. This is not chopped, it's thickly cut. A la paisana, as it say. Paisana means country style. With disregard to the size, just boom, put in there. Together, while this is happening, what we want to do, we also want to create the base for what ultimately will be the soup. And you're accustomed to this already. You've seen me do this many times. First, we go with a little bit of carrots. Then we put a little bit of celery. And here we are with the third part of the tray on bread, the onions. Italians, we call this soufrito. French call it mirepoix. What I'm doing right now, I'm gonna reduce the heat down to medium. I don't want this thing to burn. I want it to cook over a long period of time and bring out all the flavors. But how do we help these flavors come out? Two things. First, the addition of fresh herbs. You can use thyme, rosemary. In this case, it's a small mixture of the two. In this here, I have fresh rosemary and thyme that I mix together. I love it because they marry wonderfully well, both with the sausage as well with the beans. The beans in itself also, you can use any kind of beans that you want. In this case, I'm going to use cannellini. It's got a cute name, they're white and they're beautiful. Now, let me continue with a couple of more additions. These are not typical of pasta fagioli, but I like it because they bring color. So I'm gonna go with yellow pepper and some green pepper. You wanna cook this for about three minutes on medium heat until they start to lose in, in sense of losing a little bit of the stiffness that they had. You want them to soften, you want it to become translucent. A few moments have gone by, and now is the time for us to add the sausage. This is Italian sausage. The kind of sausage that I chose is spicy sausage. You don't have to go that route. You can do anything that you want, but I find the spicy sausage gives me the greatest satisfaction for this dish. This particular sausage I've many times before and always has a fantastic balance. It has a little bit of spice, but not so much that's over the top. Now watch what I'm doing with my hand. With my hand, I'm using this instrument to break the sausage in small pieces. It's almost as if you're making a meat sauce. You want this sausage to become small, tiny bits of pieces of which you'll take a tiny bite with every bite of the pasta fagioli that you will get. As you can see, we have exactly the consistency that I wanted. This is already starting to look as the base for a meat sauce. It is at this point that I want to bring additional flavor. In this case, I would like to add some white wine. But you can pretty much use anything you want. You can do marsala, you can do madeira, you can do port. You can do even red wine if you want, or even brandy will taste great. But a little bit of the wine needs to be in there to stay true to its Italian tradition. So here we go with the wine. And as we do that, we keep stirring to incorporate all the ingredients together. And you want to cook this until at least half of the volume of the wine will have evaporated. The next thing that I like to do is tomato sauce. This will give a wonderful balance to all the elements that we already added. And together with the tomato sauce, we're going to go with a little bit of stock. You can use beef stock, chicken stock. I'm gonna go with chicken stock this time. Now, I want you to increase the heat a little bit and bring it to a boil. Once a soup reaches a gentle boil, I like to reduce the heat from high to medium high. 
And in the process of this, I like to make the two key additions to this dish to give the dish its name. First, we're gonna go with the beans. One thing that I do different than most of the recipes that you've seen before, I do not like to put nor the water uh, in which the beans are cooked, if you make this from uh, scratch, or the water in which the beans are packed, uh, if you are taking this from a can. By the way, canned beans work extremely well in this, and also cuts on the amount of time that you need. Cooking beans is not a difficult thing, but it requires quite a few hours. So I often refer to good brands of canned beans that I like, that I trust. As I mentioned to you before, I'm using white beans just for a preference of uh, the whole combination of colors in here. But any kind of bean, including black beans, if you want to, they will have a slightly different flavor from what this is. But it's the consistency on how the beans react together with the pasta and with the sausage. Talking about the pasta, here comes the surprise. Watch this. You've seen this pasta before, I'm sure, many times. We call this cut ditalini, which means little fingers. And what this pasta has is the ability to slightly expand within the cooking of this and marry extremely well together with the beans and the rest of the ingredient. Now, what I want to do is for the next 10, 15 minutes on a medium high heat, we want to let this reduce somewhat and we want for the pasta to cook well within the context of this. As you can see, the dish is sticking through wonderfully well. The unevenness in the cutting of the veggies, in this particular case, works to our advantage. It does two things. First, it reintroduces the country style and the country character of this dish. Second, they make it fun to bite into it. My wife once uh, said something about, she likes to see the small pieces of carrots in a soup because she looks forward to bite straight into them. And I have to say, the visually, that is perfect. Now, we're ready to plate it. There are the many things that are so magical, like a, a plate of pasta fagioli that takes you back to your youth. But this is something more than magic. This is a rendition of dreams that come together through a series of actions where what you used to be the past of my life comes alive again. And the most beautiful thing about this is that I get to share it with you and to know that your families will enjoy this recipe for many centuries to come. It gives me a sense, an idea, a dream of thinking, a little bit about my Donna Dele, a little bit of my Grandma Maria, my Mamma Massimiliana, my Father Vincenzo, my brother Mario, will live forever with you. And this is how you make pasta fagioli.